I would say gaming is good right now. You have bangers like Helldivers 2 and Balatro out, and you have series like Call of Duty and FIFA really spicing things up with their constant innovation. Sarcasm. Hi, I'm Stevie Blue. Welcome to another video that literally no one's going to watch. I thought it'd be fun to look at what's coming up this year and some games I think you should be excited about. These will be in no particular order, so here we go. Number 10, Hades 2. So we're starting this list off big. What is it to say about Hades that hasn't already been said, right? Right? It's an amazing stylish roguelite which won a bunch of awards when it came out and now we have Hades 2 Early Access coming out in quarter 2 of 2024. And hey, guess what? That's now. So yeah, you shouldn't have long to wait for this one. My money's on this being Game of the Year contender once again. Number 9, Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. The sequel to the award winning Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Hellblade 2 returns in a brutal journey of survival with more atmosphere as expected and great looking graphics. By the looks of what we see in the trailer, this is going to be a brutal ride and I can't wait to see what we get from this one. If you're looking for immersion, then this is something to pay attention to. The release date is 21st of May 2024, so not too long to wait for this one at all. Each death, inked in blood. I won't stop fighting for them. Number 8, Skate Story. With Skate Story, there's only one place to start. The graphics. They're extremely unique and stunning. It gives me super hot vibes, which is great because that game had style for days. And as soon as I saw it, it piqued my interest. So, the premise is you have to skate well and in doing so defeat the demons that surround you, I think. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be like stage based or more of a linear story, but what I do know is how realistic the skating animations are. While this is coming from someone with the coordination and balance of one of those beans that seem to flop around in your hand when you were a kid, you know the ones. I have watched my fair share of Street League, so you know, I know my stuff. Seriously though, hopefully these guys get the mixture right because it's an interesting combo of genres. Number 7, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. Stalker 2 was set to be released in 2012, so you know, only 12 years late, so not too bad of a delay. Development restarted in 2018 and is set to finally release this year. For those of you unaware, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl is an FPS survival horror and is the fourth release in the Stalker series. This series has an unbelievably loyal fan base, and this is something I know tons of people are massively pumped for. And by the looks of what we know, we could have a good one here. Stalker 2 is set to release on September 5th. Number 6. Thirty-three Immortals. Thunder Lotus' 33 Immortals is a co-op action roguelite for 33 players at once. Similar looking gameplay to Hades, this one is definitely ambitious in premise, but if done right, could be a blast. Firstly, I wish I had 32 friends to play with. Secondly, I hope the gameplay is as fun as it looks. Style looks awesome, and I hope they nail the whole 33 people thing, as I'm sure it's a big premise for the game. I'm not sure how well they'll have it balanced, but if they get it right, it's going to be a smash hit. Number 5, Sonic X Shadow Generations. Announced in January this year, Sonic X Shadow Generations looks like a good old fast paced action filled Sonic game. Playing as Shadow for parts with new powers and abilities, this should be fun like Sonic usually is, if it's not inconsistent at times. If they just make this game true to what Sonic does best, going fast, bopping things and collecting rings, then this will be well worth your time and I mean, hey who doesn't love Sonic?
Number 4. Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2 Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines came out in 2004 and is loved by so many that played it all the way back then. To see a sequel 20 years later shocked me to be fair, but I know it's something that the fans of the series will love. While the game doesn't look as good as the other games to me, the gameplay looks solid and definitely true to the original. An action RPG with stealth elements, there's clearly an emphasis on story, and in particular dialogue options matter here which is nice to see as there's clearly a demand for it, given the mighty success of Baldur's Gate 3. This is set to release later this year. Number 3, Dune Awakening. Dune Awakening is an open world action MMO. These words alone raise excitement in me, and the barren sun setting is something interesting and, and if it's not void of anything to do, will be awesome to explore and survive in. This scene right here. Roll the tape, Bill. Thank you. Shocked me when I saw it and I think there is a place for new sandbox style MMOs to shake things up. Like I said, I really hope the vast land is rich with things to do because if so, this could be magic. Early access is coming this year sometime. Number 2. Avowed Avowed is a first person fantasy RPG and instantly gave me Elder Scrolls vibes. Never a bad thing. Combat looks very personable and the magic looks interesting and feels very intimate. I get an old school vibe with this, so if you like that sort of oblivion era fantasy game, this could be a win for you. It's worth checking out definitely. To investigate some plague that seems to be corrupting our very souls. And number one, Frostpunk 2. Now if you know me, you know I like me a good RTS, especially a no-nonsense and brutal one. Frostpunk 1 was that, so I can only imagine 2 is more of the same. From what we can see, somehow they seem to have upped the immersion when the first was pretty damn immersive anyway. Man, I just love the look of this game. The whole aesthetic and theme of having to protect your city from the elements. It's just a recipe for success off the rip. I don't see how this one doesn't continue on the brilliance of the first Frostpunk if not surpass it. Early access starts April 15th, so a few days after this video's release and full release is going to be on July 25th. They treat us like animals, left to suffocate. We need a place to work. Who else will feed our families? Stuart, this smaller will kill her. There it is, the list. 10 games I think you should be excited about coming out this year. But which ones are you most excited for? And did any sneak under the radar that should be in part 2? Let a brother know. That's a wrap for this one. See you next time.